Hello knife lovers, knife enthusiasts, knife maniacs, <laughs> interested viewers, folder here. I want to do a video, a review on the Spyderco Enough. <clears throat> very interesting, uh, very interesting little fixed blade. First of all, where's my... Yeah, so, uh, first of all, for EDC, fixed blades are obvious at an obvious disadvantage uh, over folders. This is the disadvantage. I mean, no matter what you say, you got to carry a sheath, you know, because you can't walk around with a knife like this. It's the sharp end is exposed and it cut you <laughs> so uh yeah you always have to have a sheath speaking of the sheath um it's pretty good it's a pretty good sheath i like it because of the, you can move this around you can put this so you can have vertical or horizontal carry um it's not there is some movement hmm oh, see look at that now it's staying still uh, yeah, it's a little bit. Okay, there you go. Right, there's some movement there. But having said that, I really don't think it'll fall out under normal use, normal activity. I mean, if you're rolling down a hill, if you fell down a mountainside something, yeah, I wouldn't guarantee it. But just in walking, if you just tripped and fell, it's not going to fall out. You know, uh, so... Clicks in... Yeah. So, I mean, listen, the sheath, I would, I'm not going to give the sheath as high a marks as I would give the, the knife itself. Moving forward, yeah, so, yes, this is the Spyderco Enough, and uh, it's 7 inches total length, probably just short of 7 inches. I don't know the official measurements, I don't have the box with me, and I'm not going to look for it, but I measured it with my trusty ruler, and, uh... It was just shy of seven inches from tip to back. I mean, literally, right there. Uh, the handle's four inches, the blade's three inches. Pretty much, roughly. It weighs 3.7 ounces. And... Okay, so let's just do a few comparisons. Uh, what do I have here? Okay, I have my Mannix too in my pocket. So I have my Mannix too, so we can compare it to that. And as you can see, uh, this is a small knife. Because it makes the Mannix 2 look huge. And the Mannix 2 is a, you know, it's a full-size knife, but it's not enormous. So it makes the Mannix 2 look huge. Oh, crap. <laughs> what else? The, uh... Demco, 80-20.5. Okay. 20.5 looks like that. And finally, the Spyderco Native 5, which this knife is identical to a Native 5, pretty much. I mean, there it's right there. And speaking of the Native 5, I'm going to leave this out here because when I get to the handle, it's relative. So the blade's 3 inches. Uh, Spyderco is made in Second City, Japan, and Spyderco used their VG-10 steel for this uh, project. Uh, VG-10's good stuff. It's strong. It's tough, corrosion resistant, you know, resistant to, very resistant to rusting and, and water, and so is the, the handle. And, you know, they used to use VG1 a lot. I think they mostly use VG10 now. The, the main difference being the hardness. And uh, I think VG1 is not 60 HRC. This VG10 will be 60 to 62, depending on the heat treat. 
I'm not sure what Spyderco actually did with that. Um, I wouldn't be shocked if this is 62 at all because Spyderco has some of the best steel in the business. That's one of the reasons why they're such a successful company because their steel is incredible. So, uh, yeah, VG10. It's got the spider hole just as a trademark, obviously, because it's not a folder. And they put jimping on the top. The handle is FRN, which is their uh, fiberglass reinforced nylon. Uh, not necessarily plastic, but FRN. FRN's very stout, durable stuff. And they have their um, proprietary uh, texture that they put on their knives for grip. Literally, you push your thumb in the forward direction, you can't move. I mean, anyone that knows spider codes with the FRN knows that it's extremely grippy. On a pinch grip, <laughs> things going nowhere. And that's one of the reasons why I kept the Native 5 out here because it has the same FRN with the same, basically the same pattern. Only difference is the spider hole, I mean the spider circle in the, in the, um, the design where this has the spider co enough. They chose to actually put the enough there. If you also look, the blade stock is, is very thick. And it, it uh, the spine of the handle, it just goes straight back. Well, obviously it's full tang. I'm sure it's skeletonized. Skeletonized under there to save some weight. This is a heavy duty knife. And for, for you, those of you that would you want to use a fixed blade over a folder, you could push this knife to limits that you couldn't push a folding knife. Those limits are very high because knives are made so well today. Um, almost all, the knife industry is ridiculous. It's, it's very good right now. I mean, you can get really high quality stuff for un under $100. Even under $50, you get some pretty decent stuff. You know, so the knife industry is definitely blowing up. Uh, so they got some really, really good stuff. This is a very heavy duty tool. It's very short. The entire knife is short for a reason. Uh, wood crafting or any type of heavy duty bearing down cuts where you're going to really push hard with this. You have the VG10 steel. You have the grip and the palm of your hand is over the main uh, push point of the knife. You can come up, uh, there's no choil, but uh, you don't need one because you're gonna be pushing basically with this section of the blade, <laughs> pretty much if you're doing wood crafting, you know, or you know, really bearing down on something, some material really hard that you chose to use this knife for. You could be in the field, it could be something Listen, we know we carry we carry EDC knives, and EDC means everyday carry, and everyday carry is basically this. Um, I would rather have a knife and not need one than need one and not have one. And that's basically what it is. In a lot of jurisdictions, if you go snorkeling or scuba, especially scuba diving, but even snorkeling, it is a rule. I'm not sure about a law, but it is definitely a rule. It's a requirement that you carry a knife. Now, he's like, well, why would you need a knife if you're snorkeling? You don't know. <laughs> you don't know. You get caught in something, you know, fishing line or it could be numerous reasons. It's just for those unknown intangibles. It's, it's an extension, you know, of basically of your hand. You got your hands wherever you go, right? If you have to do, if you have to pick something up, you don't have to go home and get your hands, right? No, my hand's right here. I can just pick it up, right? So this is a tool. So it's what it is. At any rate, um, yeah. So yeah, that that's it. That's it. It's a heavy duty fixed blade. Uh, 
yeah really nice construction I like all the um, the bolting points you know the lanyard hole is, is really nice and it has a uh, it's not just flat scales here so when you in hand it feels very good very good purchase bearing down so and from what I understand they have an enough too now because people wanted more blade um okay it's different then if you want any in, this is enough <laughs> excuse the pun it's enough because what the knife is designed for close close to your palm the um the main push point uh to have main to have a lot of power bearing down on this section when you're when you're working when you're working with the knife that's what it's designed for so a blade that's longer it's, it's serving a little bit different purpose than the initial purpose of this knife now I can see why you would want a blade longer just because you like this form factor the the spider co enough I love the way this looks and I want to use it for something else other than what this knife is designed for okay so then you have one with a longer blade and you can do other cutting tasks and cutting things this knife is stout it's small it's a fixed blade you can come to some material and use this as a pry bar with no problem it's really thick blade stock and strong VG10 so you can use it as a pry bar you can use I mean it's just like I said it, it's that's what it's designed for that tight stuff heavy duty stuff so but yeah I'll check out the enough too you know I doubt I'd get one you know I highly doubt it but I would you know I would take a look at it so anyway that's all I got Spider Co enough is enough